Hello, people of YouTube. Captain Catholic here in my Batman uniform. <laughs> I'm such a loser. So anyway, I'm gonna play a tutorial now of um, how to play uh, parts of the Dark Knight Rises main theme. Um, there's a lot of tutorials out there already, so I'm not gonna do a tutorial on the whole song, uh, but just really on one part in particular, which I haven't seen anybody else uh, play on YouTube. I was kind of surprised. Um, so this is uh, this is a theme that's played in all three movies from the trilogy: Batman Begins, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises. Uh, it's played multiple times. I think it's the only the only time it's on a soundtrack in the series is uh, from the Dark Knight song number two. I'm not a hero. It's uh, part way between. It's one of my favorite themes, but um, it doesn't seem to be played very much on YouTube. So I'm going to do a tutorial for it now. This is what it sounds like when it's all done. <laughs> But um, the, um, it's actually really very easy to play. Uh, you know, it's meant to be played on uh, string instruments. Uh, so it's a little strange transferring it to the piano. There's probably a lot of things you can add, kind of embellish, make it sound a little bit more, you know, fuller. But anyway, um, let's see. We'll begin with the right hand part. It's the same thing repeated over and over and over. Uh, very easy. It's, it's only three notes uh, B flat, A, and G. So let me just play it really slowly. So it just starts with the B flat, and then it goes down to the G, to the A, back to the B flat, but then it repeats the B flat, and it goes back down to the G. Uh, so it'll go like this. Over and over and over and over. And then, uh, the left hand is also very easy. Uh, there's just a couple of notes uh, that you play with your left hand. I like to do kind of like a double octave here. Um, maybe I'll just begin by playing the first, just, just with one octave. First note is the G. And then it goes to the F. And it goes down to a D. And it goes up to a, um, I guess you'd say D sharp. And then back to the F. And then down to the C. That's it. So uh, one more time. It's so again. G, F, D, D sharp, F, C. And then you just combine that with the right hand. Um, and again, I like to do kind of two octaves. That just means you know, if you're playing a G here, you play another G an octave below. Not, nothing too hard. Um, so let's just take a look at what, I'll play it slower than usual, let's just take a look to see what it sounds like combined. So you'll switch notes uh, on the second B flat uh, <laughs> I'm not explaining this very well. It's a pretty lousy tutorial. But anyway, hopefully you'll get the main idea without me having to stumble around and find the right words to try to explain what the heck I'm playing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so let's just do that one more time really slow. Switch. Switch. And then it does go back to this. So you'll have, um, it goes back to the G, and then uh, you'll have a D, and a D sharp again, um, and it just kind of uh, repeats, so that's pretty cool. The only other thing, uh, maybe I'll do a tutorial on because I haven't seen this much on YouTube either, um, this is another theme that's always played right after this other theme. It kind of goes right into, and it couldn't be any easier, but um, let's see, how do we explain this? Not too many notes, uh, this is what it sounds like finished. Oh no. Never mind. Sounds like this. Pretty easy. Uh, not too many notes here. 
Um, what you'll do is uh, this, begin with is just a, a B. <laughs> Get my sharps and flats confused. B flat and an A. It really just goes back and forth. So let's take a look at that slowly. So with the right hand, it's just. Again, it's uh, and the left hand does almost the same thing, but it leaves out one of the B flats. Um, you'll kind of skip a note, so it sounds like this with the left hand. And again, let's compare that to the right hand. Left hand. So it's like this. goes up to just a D and a C. Same pattern. And then a um, E flat and a D. Same pattern. It goes back to the D and the C, but uh, I like to do a double octave with the left hand here. Back to the uh, E flat and D. So, just to recap from the beginning. Not too, not too hard. This is like the Bruce Wayne theme that they kind of introduced at the end of Batman Begins. Uh, let me just show you the left hand. pretty cool theme. Um, so again, this is, this is a pretty simple theme. Uh, not too many notes. Yeah, anyway, uh, so it starts off at a D. So again, let's take a look at that part. Then it goes back. Kind of repeats that again. Take another look at it slowly. Oops. And you can kind of combine that with um, the uh, right hand theme over here. Uh, this is also a pretty simple theme. Uh, it's really just four notes. Um, you have an A, a D, and an F, and occasionally the A switches to a B flat. So you can just get the hang of this, the F, A, D, A. F, A, D, A. Not too much, and you can kind of repeat that for a while. Then, um, once a measure, uh, the A will switch to a B, so it sounds like this. Kind of like that. And um, then uh, this Bruce Wayne theme kind of is, is um, played over top of that string theme there. Um, it's a hard thing to explain. It's really just something that's it's easier if you just kind of watch it, you know, played uh, a dozen times or whatever until you get the hang of it. But uh, usually what I do is uh, when I start the Bruce Wayne theme, I won't switch to the B-flat all the time. The only times I do switch to the B-flat are when I'm playing a B-flat with uh, my left hand here. So let's just look at that slowly.
And then um, the only other theme uh, maybe we'll take a look at is this one. Very easy. I'll do another double octave. It's a A. Pretty easy. Just about uh, four notes once again. So we go to an A. E flat A. D. Okay, fine. I keep saying one more theme, one more theme, one more theme. Maybe we'll look at uh, one other thing. Uh, the very end, uh, at least I play it as the end, uh, really one of the main parts of the theme. Um, the thing uh, we talked about here, let's just bring that down to our left hand. Like that. And uh, very, very simple. It's just a two-note two theme here by Hans Zimmer, really great theme. Um, we have a D, and we have an F. That's it. D, F. So it's not like this. And then I also like adding um, a little bit of harmony. Um, with the D, I just play an A. And then when we switch up to the F, I just play a, a, a B flat chord, major chord. So that consists of the B flat, the D, and the F. So just like that. So it sound like. Just kind of build the volume there. Uh, kind of a lot of the music in uh, Dark Knight Rises kind of crescendos and decrescendos. Pretty cool stuff. Um, then the last thing would be the very end of the song. You keep up the uh, this. And uh, the last theme, this plays um, several times. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but uh, Dark Knight Rises, really the whole, the whole trilogy. Um, I have just a few notes here. It'll sound like this. So it uh, begins with the A, up to a D. Just repeat the D. Repeat it again. Up to a G. And then E, F. That's it. And it's played over a little bit of a variation of this. So we'll start out with that. Then it goes to just uh, the A switches to a B flat. Now you keep this going, but the F here switches to a G. So it sounds like this. It'll go back down to the typical F, D, A. Uh, so let's take a look at it uh, complete. Okay. Now I just kind of go down to a D there. But, um, cool. So I think that's just about everything I played in my version. I was only planning on doing one thing, then I just kept going once. Oh, okay, okay. Last thing. This is the last thing I think I play in my version. I haven't done a tutorial for. Uh, it's the um, what is it? That's not it. That thing. Um, it's pretty simple again. The left hand. It's a D minor chord uh, inverted. You have an A, a D, and a F. like that uh, and if you want you can play it with the right hand as, as well just like that and the next one is a um, is actually just an A A major chord you have your A C sharp and E A C sharp E so it's you can play with right hand too then it goes back to the um, inverted D just like that so from the beginning then we have and then it's just um, A Back to the A. Pretty easy, huh? Not 
too bad. So that's about it. If you get the chance, please check out my website at CaptainCatholic.net. I say that in just about every video. Uh, uh, give me your feedback and let me know if there's any... Uh, uh, if this tutorial was actually useful to you or not, um, I uh, certainly didn't practice uh, the tutorial very much before I started. It was just kind of me rambling around. Uh, it might have been totally useless to you, but hopefully, uh, hopefully it helped you out in some way uh, or another. So uh, let me know if you have any questions or anything. Let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on any of the other uh, parts of the Dark Knight Rises theme I played in my version. Um, I'm sure, uh, well, there are a lot better versions out there than mine, uh, so be sure to check those out as well. So, uh, oh, one more thing, I unfortunately don't really have any sheet music, 90% uh, of it I played by ear. Uh, the only thing I did use a little bit of sheet music as the basis for the really the main part, you know. That part. But other than that, uh, it was pretty much all by ear. I was a little bit disappointed with the sheet music. Uh, it really didn't have a whole lot to it, uh, so you really have to figure out most of it by ear. But uh, can't wait to see uh, some of you guys. Uh, if, if you learned and everything, uh, let me know. Uh, send me your video. I want to see uh, uh, how it comes out. So I uh, hope uh, everybody out there is doing well and have a fantastic day. Uh, this is a new camera. I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> In a dark and hopeless city. Money! Money! Greed. You're going to hell in a handbasket. Arrogance. What's up, Weaver? <laughs> Injustice. This is America. Speak American. Bigotry. God hates you. Hatred. Abortion. And the death penalty. And violence run rampant. And not a single person will stop no me. No one will stop me. <laughs> but one church. One family. And one man. Stand. In their way. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm sorry, my good man. I, I didn't mean to bump into the aisle. Have a fantastic day. <laughs>